All right, what's up, YouTube? Mr. Porkchop back here with uh, another video. Today's video was uh, kind of done unexpectedly. I got a comment on one of my other videos asking about how to set up a blank JavaFX uh, project. Um, normally, I think in all of my other videos, I, when I set up a new JavaFX project, I use the template, the Hello World template that comes with um, basically a main module and controller along with an FXML document of just like a very blank window. And then when you run it, it pops up and says, hello, or hello world. <clears throat> but someone had asked on the video that, uh, you know, how do you do, how do you create a project without all that added stuff? Say you didn't want the template, you didn't want those um, files. So in this video, I do my best to basically explain how to do that. Um, it took me a while to kind of figure it out, which is why I'm doing the intro to this video now, because... Uh, I cut a lot of the, I cut a lot of uh, footage out because it was, <laughs> I, I didn't know how to do this before I started. Um, I had to kind of figure this out on the go. And I really don't know if the way that I did it is the best way to do it, but I did kind of figure out a way to do it. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'll get into the video. Um, but first, if you guys like my content, I'd appreciate you guys liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Um, you know, I've, I'm trying to build my channel up and uh, the more subscribers I get, more um, interaction I get with you guys, the better. Also, please leave me a comment. Uh, let me know if you found this video helpful or uh, if you have any suggestions on how to do this better. Um, so, yeah, that's all I got, guys. Thanks. When right here, you know, even if you actually empty project, what if I create an empty project next? Empty. Um, Modules, new modules, project, new modules. Yeah, this is the weird thing. Like when you go and you try to add new modules, the Java effects does not show up as an actual module, you know, which is weird. Different libraries, frameworks, new libraries specified actual name so you have a main source do anything until I finish this Okay, JavaFX application from module main. All right, maybe try to do that. Maybe that would help. Go into artifacts and then do main. SDK, I'll do that. Apply. All right, so maybe that. Maybe, maybe that will actually work there we go java class okay so that, i think that worked main. now we have a main class libraries blah 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 then you can go to application and i think inside my source file i can use this I mean, it does have, it does have that, um, all right, so maybe I can do, like, stems, There we go. 
All right, so now it lets me do it after that. So I just kind of had to get this public static mean void method in there. Launch arguments. I don't even know if I need to really dig. I probably don't need the extends application thing, but so that would be okay. And then from here, you could go in and add all of your your VM options, which I guess I could probably do that here while I'm in here. Um, so again, I've done this in a million videos. This is basically what you want to put in there. I can have this in the description if you guys want. But when you set it up, you'll probably want your VM options set up. Program arguments, don't really need to worry about anything. Working directory. This is what blank FX project. So it's gonna be that. Um, default JRE, we're going to want 11 because that's what I got for everything. Blah, 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 apply, and add that. All right, so now we have that all set. Apply, okay. So we should have that all set up. All right, so yeah, I guess that's basically how you can do it. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything you want. It probably would all work after that. Um, again, just go into your project structure and make sure that you have um, your SDKs in there and that you have your library added. Doesn't look like, doesn't look like there's any problems. I think that's probably good. The other oh wait, the other thing. Let's go to settings. Yeah, path variables. This one looks like it's okay. Passive effects is still there. So that's fine. All right, yeah, I think that's good. Extends application. All right, so that one's that that makes it all kind of make sense again. All right, yeah, that's probably fine. And then if I really wanted to, I could throw all this in and then it'll all come up. All right, yeah, so it's working now. Okay, so that's basically how you guys would do it if you wanted to create a completely from the scratch blank JavaFX project. Um, yeah, so I mean, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. Um, this was useful. Hopefully this answers the question that uh, was posed to me on one of my other videos. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I got for today, guys. Have a good one.